welcome to episode two of Show Me Your Rig. This is um, this will be my car today, the 2012 SR Hilux we have behind me, a magnificent rig of mine. Uh, tell us what your make and model, and a little bit about the drive line and everything of your car. Uh, well, yeah, 2012 uh, SR Toyota Hilux. Um, we've got the three-liter common rail diesel. Um, got the five-speed manual gearbox. I bought this car back in 2015, I think it was, maybe 14. So I've had it for a few years. Um, bought it secondhand. It's X mining, but it's, it's not. It's not too bad. It's got you know some holes in the floor from where a cage used to be, but a bit of red dust through the car. But that's you know, it's never stopped me. I've always had a love of Toyotas. Um, my dad's had a Hilux most of his life. So it's been it's been great. So you couldn't look past the brand. Couldn't look past the brand. No, I I, I mean Toyotas are known for their reliability. Um, the only problem I've had on my car so far is uh, an alternator died on me. Um, replace that. Pair in like a pair in like a kitten again. What what? Oh, oh, some some of the things things go go Oh, it's a basic. It has cruise control, which is good, but the inside, is, you know, it's a bit noisy. The suspension's really stiff. The seats are moderately comfortable for you know medium to long trips, but leaf springs, good for carrying stuff. When I got the canopy on the back, it's okay, but if I take the canopy off, my God, it's, it's bad. But you know, other than that, it's um, I, I quite like it. Um, just the fact that it's basic, but that's the part of it also that I love. Three things. Three things that I love. Yeah, so I mean, for one, it's got uh, the power. They're very underestimated in, in how much grunt they've actually got. I've driven other Utes, Mitsubishis, Nissans. Uh, they just don't have torque down low. So I love the D4D, what they've done. Um, I've got full torque. I think it's at like 1200 RPM. Uh, number two is, I think, my TJM suspension lift. I have a, a two inch uh, constant load 250 kilos on the front and rear. Really like that. It's improved the ride quality in every way uh, on trips, um, and uh, been able to fit the the, the 275 65s um, under it as well without any cutting. Um, and also my canopy. Built it on the back, uh, just out of metal scrap li metal line around and gum tree bits here and there. Got in trouble with the wife doing it, but <laughs> was in the shed for a few months. When you bought the car, was there anything that modified the stuff? Well, yeah, being an X mine vehicle, uh, it's they strip them right back. There's not much on them that's um, extra than standard, uh, apart from the bull bar it came with, um, and the tray. So the tray is uh, yeah TNL engineering standard tray that they they, they put on them, a fleet one. Um, same with the bull bar, just a fleet. It's not um, not winch compatible or anything. Um, but yeah, I wanted a blank canvas really to start with, being that uh, I wanted to do all the mods myself, so I knew what was going on to it. And um, I don't really want anyone else tampering with it at the time. So it's been through a bit of a hard life, as you can see with the, uh, the side step, and this is not the the stock fender that came with the vehicle. Um, go into that another time. What was the first modification you did when you got the car? Or how long did it take as well until you did your first modification? Mm. I think it took me quite a while because the car was the, the newest car I'd ever owned at the time. Mm. I went from a you know an old Forester to, to a Hilux. Um, I, I think it was putting a light bar on it. I used to have an old eBay light bar. It used to be along here, fit perfectly, but just wasn't quite bright enough. All right, so under my bonnet, um, right now, there isn't actually a lot. Um, I've pulled most of it out when I built the canopy. Um, it used to have a dual battery in this section here. As you can see, I forgot to put a battery tray in there and I have to fix that. It's just got the standard battery there and that, that's really it. I've got the, uh, the snorkel over this side. It's just an Iron Man snorkel. A little bit broken up top there, but I don't think that really matters. Onto the, the front of the car, I've got a Uniden uh, CB radio. I think it's a 9000 9060 or something like that. 
Uh, I've got a Wilson rod holder, a set of uh, hardcore lights, um, LEDs. They're, they're rated to something like 550 meters or so at one lux, which is all I ever need for. Um, much better than the light bar it had on it. There's a bit of wiring that I've done. Um, just runs uh, a 12 volt back to the canopy and also runs it a 12 volt to the rear, just behind the back seat of the car, which has a sub and an amp. So this is the canopy um, that I've built. Fridge on this side. Um, put a little lock that'll pull out. Nice and easy like that. It's a Waco CF40. Up here we've got a voltmeter as well as your cigarette lighter and USB. Um, they're all controlled by the light panel here. Uh, I've got fridge, the DC outlets, this is the cockpit lights, so they will switch on two LED strips up the top there. And the spotlight here will bring us around to the back, where I've just got a reverse light on the back there. In behind the fridge, I've got the AGM battery here. It's a 120 amp hour, as well as a inverter 600 watt sine wave. Uh, these are the things that I generally keep for myself when we go camping. Um, I have my box of goodies. I've got a compressor here. It's the Bush Ranger Max Air 3. I've bought one of the Adventure King's toolboxes or toolkits, but most of the stuff in there now is different brand of my own. I've got an Adventure King's table here. Um, bought that recently, it's an aluminium one. And then first aid kit at the back there. My Roby light comes with me everywhere. It's um, amazingly bright, lasts for ages. Um, sets it up quick for cooking. Tool panel at the top, fire extinguisher, my cook plate, uh, the toilets it's also uh, down the back there, and then a gas cooker. Also, handy little. Okay, here is my storage box. Uh, comes complete with some welding gloves, various items that I've picked up that aren't mine, some aluminium foil, my tire deflators, gas um, torch, cutting board. Uh, this is a fold up shovel, just some wires for the lighting, uh, a torch. This is a Convoy L6. Um, so that's it for the canopy. Uh, it should be getting a renovation at some point. Um, either I'm going to make it full, full width or it's going to get some drawers or some compartments in it uh, in the near future. So um, I'll get a video out for that when it does happen. Haven't got any plans at the moment, but it, um, it is definitely on the cards.